this Saturday morning in Pullboy, Bonnesloe, in the bog, we have a biodiversity walk for anybody that would like to come, young, old, fit, not fit. So if you come up to the recycling centre in Pullboy, take the left turn for the gun club, the Clonfad gun club, go about 600 metres and we're going to meet at the intersection of the, the where the old canal used to be. So this is a guided walk and as part of this guided walk we'll have two of our locals, Deirdre Boyle and Eric Nocton, to show us all the different plants, insects, um, the local fauna and flora. All you need is basically weather depending, just use your common sense, you might need a jacket but the most important things is that you have comfortable footwear. If there has been rain we would ideally suggest that you wear boots. Um, our good shoes are definitely boots. Bring um, a snack and something to keep yourself hydrated with because when we're on the walk we will stop every so often and it is good to have a snack. We also suggest that you bring your phone not many people leaving it behind, bring it anyway so that you can take photographs of the different things that you've been shown on the, on the, on the walk. This walk is actually a linear walk which is very very um, it's very good for all ages so the thing about it is the beauty of this is that you'll be able to turn back at any point. Our intention basically is possibly to go to Lismani and back but at any stage you because it's a linear walk you can turn around and go back again. Pool Boy Bog is a very special area um, not just because it's a bog land but because it is in such close proximity to other habitats such as woodlands and forest. It's close to the Bonaun Valley and the Shannon Valley, the basins, and it's close to the, the Callows and uh, therefore it supports a wild diversity of flora and fauna uh, in this whole area. Now uh, at autumn time of the year uh, wildlife is beginning to pre prepare for its uh, winter habitats and its winter rest and uh, I suppose we will see uh, wildflowers all going to seed. Um, we'll still see a lot of butterflies and moths. Uh, we'll see their caterpillars. And, uh, there's a wide variety of beetles, uh, ants, ladybirds to be seen. And uh, along the canal itself, uh, there's a herden that's usually there and mallard ducks that uh, are seen flying along the, the canal as well.